Uh, okay, so hi everyone. Um, I'm uh, Marco Braga and I'm a PhD student uh, at the uh, University of Milano Bicocca and uh, Polytechnico of Turin. And uh, I will present uh, our work, uh, SAPQA, uh, Personalized Community Question uh, Answering. And this is a joint work with my colleague uh, Pranav Casera and our supervisors from University of Milano Bicocca and um, ISTI Cenere. Okay, so this is just uh, an overview of the presentation. I will introduce the task and the problem that we want to solve. Uh, and then I will show you the uh, purpose the resource and the baseline, so the model that we uh, use to evaluate our uh, data set. So the problem and the task we want to solve is uh, personalization in information retrieval. So personalized search is uh, one of the main developments of IR and now it's uh, a not topic uh, in the IR field. And the aim of personalized search is to uh, providing some search results uh, that can uh, uh, better suit some uh, user needs. So uh, in this way, personalization can improve the user perceived quality of the service. Uh, but uh, at the ti this time, uh, current data set are not uh, suited to uh, evaluate personalization from a user perspective. And because there are a lot of uh, uh, synthetic uh, data set in which query and the, the documents are uh, created, for example, from some uh, relation graphs. And so we decided to fill this gap uh, uh, in this field. Uh, so the task uh, is uh, a personalized community question answering. So uh, the task is based on question answering, but uh, we uh, take the, mm, the define the data set uh, using the Stack Exchange community, uh, which is a, a well-known uh, uh, website for uh, question answering, and there are a lot of uh, communities. Uh, we selected them. 50 communities that can be uh, categorized uh, under the large umbrella of humanistic communities. So for example, like uh, academia, writers, uh, sci-fi, and so on. So not the scientific communities. And then uh, is uh, uh, personalized because uh, uh, in um, Stack Exchange, uh, each user that uh, uh, wrote a question uh, then can select uh, the best uh, answer. And so in this way, um, we can uh, uh, understand uh, which is the best answer for, for, for the user. So we know that this answer is tailored uh, f mm, to the user needs. And uh, in this way, uh, we create a data set in which uh, are the same user that uh, uh, label the, the, the answer. Uh, we uh, decided to approach uh, the uh, question answering with some uh, higher uh, approaches. Uh, so uh, the query is uh, of the uh, information retrieval system is the question uh, written by a user, and then the answer are retrieved from the pool of the past answer uh, indexed for the purpose. So the, tax, the task is not a generative question answering, but is like uh, an information retrieval system. Uh, here there is just an overview of the proposed uh, research. Uh, there are more than one million questions and two million answers. Uh, of course, uh, all written by humans. And there are more or less uh, 6,000 uh, um, six, um, uh, users. And uh, so, as I said before, we selected uh, 50 communities, uh, and all the data are collected from uh, uh, 2008 and 2022. And uh, here in the image, you can see that we collect a lot of um, user-related features, as, for example, uh, the reputation, the name, uh, the views of a, s a user. And then uh, another important uh, feature is the tags. So each question um, um, has some related tags, uh, tags that the user who wrote the question has to select. 
uh, and this uh, tax uh, uh, feature will be important for our uh, personalization uh, model. So here there is the baseline, um, uh, so we define a two-stage uh, um, retrieval uh, um, model. So the first stage part is uh, the classical BM25, and the second retrieval stage uh, is composed by the neural model that can be distilled BERT, which is a BERT-based uh, model fine-tuned by us on our uh, data set. Uh, then there is a uh, uh, mini LM, uh, which is a um, pre trained uh, um, retrieval model um, trained on a huge corpus uh, that contains uh, some, uh, some uh, stack exchange and uh, stack overflow uh, data. Uh, so we decided not to fine tune mini LM. Uh, then uh, T5, uh, both the T5 uh, small and base uh, version, and we fine tune the T5 uh, to uh, adapters model. Uh, adap adapters are um, techniques that uh, allow us to uh, train a large language model, uh, training only a subset of the original parameter. So it's just a parameter efficient tuning uh, technique. And then there is the tag uh, model uh, that introduced the personalization. So uh, at the end, uh, the score uh, given by uh, an answer is a linear combination of uh, BM25, uh, the, uh, the neural model, and the tag uh, model. Uh, so I just want to uh, focus uh, a bit more on the tag model because it's the uh, main uh, is one of the main important aspect. Uh, so um, we decided to uh, define a score uh, based on the tags uh, that each user can uh, define when he uh, or she uh, wrote the question. So uh, for example, here you can see that uh, uh, the user that uh, wrote this uh, question uh, defined uh, uh, five tags uh, related to the question, so like DC, Comics, and Batman. And all these tags are, of course, related to the question. Um, uh, and uh, so um, for each uh, uh, question, uh, we selected all the tags uh, that uh, were related to all the question uh, written by the same user and uh, uh, prior to the timestamp of the uh, selected query question just to avoid the data leakage. Uh, then we have to select the tags related to the uh, user who uh, wrote an answer to this question. Uh, but the problem is that uh, uh, when a user uh, wrote uh, um, an answer, uh, he uh, could not uh, uh, define some related tags. So we have to uh, select the tags uh, related to the question answered by the same user. And then, uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, prior to the last uh, timestamp, uh, always to avoid data leakage. And um, at the end, uh, we just uh, um uh, calculated the number of elements in the intersection of these tags uh, set and then uh, uh, normalize the, uh, this uh, number by the element of the tags uh, in the uh, question. Uh, here there are the results. Uh, so you can uh, see that uh, uh, the uh, if we uh, apply the tag uh, model, we achieve uh, a statistically significant uh, improvement uh, over the model without uh, the personalized uh, model. And we can uh, see this uh, uh, pattern for all the models that we tried. So distilled BM25, distilled BERT, distil BERT MinLM, and T5. And uh, the best model that we uh, that achieved the best result is uh, T5 base. And the second one is MinLM. And uh, even if MinLM is not fine-tuned on the data set, as I said before, MinLM was uh, trained using some stack exchange and uh, stack overflow uh, data. And so it's like MinLM has some knowledge uh, about uh, this uh, uh, field and this task. 
uh, then uh, we uh, think that uh, uh, personalization can be more useful on a multi-domain and heterogeneous collection than on a single and uh, uh, homogeneous uh, uh, collection. Uh, that's why, uh, that's, that's because uh, uh, mm, we discovered that um, uh, the 60 percent of uh, uh, user who have what uh, more than five question uh, or answer uh, I wrote this uh, uh, question and answer in more than uh, two communities and um, so uh, in this uh, way uh, if we uh, study uh, different communities uh, we can focus our work uh, on uh, some uh, um, user uh, interest in different uh, fields and different domain. And this is uh, quite an important uh, uh, thing in our work because uh, previous uh, data set based on uh, stack exchange uh, focuses uh, uh, focus only on uh, one or more communities but in a uh, but isolated community. Uh, so, we, uh, to, to prove our uh, hypothesis, we decided to uh, apply to each community the non-personalized and the personalized combination of the model. Uh, and uh, at the end, we, uh, uh, we, we discovered that uh, uh, the contribution of the tag model in uh, some uh, communities is uh, uh, lower. Uh, in uh, Ten communities is not. Uh, uh, we, we we didn't achieve uh, uh, statistically significant uh, improvement uh, using the tag model, and in uh, some cases, uh, in, in some cases, the tag model, the contribution of the tag model is missing. Uh, this means that the weight uh, given by the linear combination is uh, equal to zero. Um, so. As it was, uh, as I said in the introduction, uh, in, uh, in the recent year, the IR community spent uh, uh, important effort in studying uh, personalization. Uh, but a uh, compressive uh, data set for evaluating and comparing different approaches is still missing. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, data set uh, are synthetic uh, or use uh, non-public data. So it's uh, quite impossible uh, to replicate the results uh, and to make some comparison between uh, different methods. And we fill this research gap by creating uh, SAPQA, which is a, a large scale data set. Um, yeah, uh, only to conclude, uh, we propose uh, uh, SAPQA, which is a large real world data set, uh, including uh, one million questions and two million answers. Uh, the data set comes with a rich set of uh, user-level uh, user features, modeling the interaction among the users, so the tags uh, and, uh, uh, for example, uh, also the uh, best uh, um, the ta the ta tags and um, best the, the vote of the best answer. Uh, the results show that the personalization can uh, um, improve uh, the results by a st um, statistically significant uh, margin and we leave uh, the, dev the development of more complex and personalized model for future, future work uh, that could for example use uh, different feature than the tags. <coughs>